Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a problem that deals with expressions and combining like terms. So this is specifically from uh, CPM course three, CC3 section 2.1.5, uh, number 2-51 is the problem set that I'll be using to explain how to combine like terms uh, and simplify expressions. So A, when you're doing any combining like terms, that word combining, I think, is the key that I, I, I tend to look for. And knowing combining, combining is addition, right? It's really addition is what combining is. So I got to know what adds. What, what can I add together? What can I add together? Well, <clears throat> it's got to be like terms. That's a, that's a big, big piece. Like terms, remember, like terms are defined by, when you think of like terms, they're defined by um, having the same variable or sometimes variables maybe there's an x y together um, and same exponents basically same degree the exponents is, is your degree so exponents we'll just use that so same exponents on those variables so if i look first of all if i'm looking at a i have an x term and an x term another x term and another x term right so those are the ones that I'm going to combine. This X term here has an exponent of 2, but none of them have an exponent of 2, so they cannot be combined with that. So uh, first of all, combining 2, let me back up, is addition, right? So I'm going to take where there's subtraction, and I'm going to add the opposite so I can see that the term after it is a negative is what I'm dealing with. So minus means add the opposite, so it's a negative. And then each of these Xs, well, there's no number in front, but keep in mind, whenever there's no number in front, there's always that one. It's 1x, one 1x, one and this case is a negative 1x. So if I'm combining 1x plus 1x plus 2x plus negative 1x, what is that? 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4, and then 4 plus negative 1 is 3. So that total is 3x. So when I combine the 1x, the 1x, 2x, there's 4x, and then a negative 1x, 4 minus 1 there in that case is 3. So that's my combining of the x terms. If I look to see what else left, what, what, what else is left over, I notice I just have a negative 3 and a 4x squared. Those are the other two terms. And they don't have anything to combine with, so they're going to be by themselves. So I tend to always put the heavier exponent first, the higher degree. So it's going to be 4x squared plus 3x. And then you can say plus a negative three or you can just say minus three so that is the combining like terms the simplified expression for a okay so for b we do the same thing so in this case let's start with their x squareds so i have an x a, an 8x squared so there's one term i have this 13x squared and because it's a minus in front it's actually a negative 13x squared right you add the opposite swish swish so 8x squared, negative 13x squared, here's a positive 10x squared, and that's all my x squareds. So how many x squareds are there? So there's 8 and negative 13. Together that makes negative 5, and then negative 5 and 10 make positive 5, right? So 8, you look at it this way, 8 plus negative 13 plus 10. That's what I'm doing. I'm adding the coefficients of those x squared terms and 8 and negative 13 is negative 5 then negative 5 and 10 makes 5 so that's why I end up with a 5x squared as the number of x squareds I have okay so now let's look what else we got x's right so I have a single x with a without a variable I mean excuse me without an exponent it's just an exponent of 1 it's linear so that's 3x and again we add the opposite negative 25x at the opposite negative 1x so it's a 3x a negative 25x and a negative 1x so if i'm adding each of those up so i can i'll do it down here again 3 plus negative 25 plus negative 1 so i just add 3 and negative 25 gives me negative 22 negative 22 and negative 1 would become negative 23 so i end up with uh negative 23 or i could say minus 20, oops, 23x. 
And I think that's all my terms, right? There's no constant. So that was just x terms and x squared terms. So this is the answer for b. 5x squared minus 20, that's a 23x, not 28, 23x. All right. C, if I look at C, I have a 4x plus 3y. Well, wait. I have an x term and a y term and nothing else. But those cannot be combined. An x term and a y term, they're not the same. They don't have the same variables. They have different variables. So 4x plus 3y is the most simplified expression. I can't simplify it any further. So that's the answer. Itself is the answer. And then we go over to D, D and I'm looking to see. Let's go with, let's, let's start off with the, the things that have exponents. So here I have 4y squared. And then here, remember that minus is a negative, negative 2y squared. So 4y squared, negative 2y squared. Those two, that's the only y squareds. Those combine to be positive 2y squared. Okay, so those 4y, negative 2y squared is 2y squared. Done with those. Let's see what else I got. I got an, uh, uh, an xy term, and there's no other xy terms, right? The rest are constants. So there's a 20, a negative 3, and a 10, but that's all by itself. So I'm just going to leave that as is, 3xy. And now I add the constants, 20 and a negative 3, right? Remember, add the opposite because you're combining its addition. So 20 and negative 3 is 17, and then 17 and 10 is 27. So my ending there is, so I have 2y squared plus 3xy plus 27. All right, I hope that helps.